Cheng Dingyu, a leading lung transplant surgeon in China, proposed at Beijing's two sessions meeting that organ donations should be one of the indexes to assess Chinese cities. Chen was also one of the representatives at Beijing's political meetings. He told Chinese media that China has a very large population and a large number of patients needing transplants. A severe shortage of organs has been a long-term problem. He therefore came up with the proposal to include organ donations as a performance index to evaluate each city. Wang Zhiyuan, president of World Organization to Investigate the Persecution of Falun Gong, WOIPFG, pointed out that the proposal is equivalent to pressuring all cities to secure more organ donations. In the same manner, China implemented the one-child policy by forced abortions. He believes that the motivation behind it is suspicious. The CCP announced that starting from January the 1st, 2015, organ donation would be the only source for organ transplants. However, several years have passed and the transplant operations are still being performed on a large scale. That means the CCP will have to provide an explanation for why China can continue to perform so many transplants when only voluntary donation is allowed. What's to be done? The CCP announced that it plans to take compulsory measures to force the people to donate their organs. As long as they have this policy in place, the CCP can use it as a disguise to cover up its crimes, regardless of whether there are sufficient donations or not. The CCP initiated a civilian organ donation system in 2010 and announced that from January 1, 2015, Organ donation from voluntary civilian organ donors had become the only legitimate source of organ transplants. Before 2005, there was no record of organ donations in China. Before 2009, there were only about 120 people who became organ donors. The Chinese believe that taking organs from deceased individuals is the worst disrespect to the deceased. It will also bring bad luck to the person's family and relatives. That's why Chinese people are reluctant to donate organs. China has been advocating for organ donations in the past several years, but in reality very few people have donated their organs. The donation numbers reported by the authorities are likely fake numbers. Chen Jingyu is the director at Lung Transplant Center of Jiangsu Province. He noted that from January 1994 to January 1998, there were only about 20 lung transplants in China. From September 2002 to 2014, the number grew to 523. During an interview with Chinese state media, he mentioned that lung transplantation is a routine operation. Chen himself usually performs two or three such operations in a week. So far, he has performed more than 1,000 lung transplants. In mainland China, the entire system is completely opaque and operates in a black box. So how are the organs obtained? How many organ transplants are performed each year? How many operations does each hospital perform? How many are performed in each province? It's completely opaque. The authorities will only report limited figures with insufficient details. With regard to the sources of the organs, the authorities insist that there is only one channel, civilian donation. China has become the world's second largest country for organ transplants, but the source of organs has always been a mystery. As the world's second largest country for organ transplants, China's transplant volume is huge and the source of organs is questionable. We believe the organs harvested live are from Falun Gong practitioners, dissidents and the floating population. Falun Gong practitioners have filed lawsuits questioning the source of organs for transplants in China, and the whole world is questioning the CCP. For so many years, the CCP has not provided a clear answer. Now the regime is forcing civilians to donate organs in an attempt to cover up the fact that China is still committing the crime of organ harvesting. According to Chen Jingyu's statement, China's organ supply still cannot meet the demands of the transplantation industry. 
Hard transportation in mainland China has never experienced a problem of insufficient donors. As for liver transplants, we have seen in the past that as long as you have money, they will find a matching donor for you in one or two weeks. It is the same situation until today. If a patient claims that he failed to get a donor in China, it is because he does not have enough money. The hospitals in China do not want to arrange transportations for those who cannot afford the expensive operation because it is a highly profitable industry for the hospitals. The first problem is that the operation of the entire organ transportation in China is a black box. It is kept secret from the public. The second problem is that the organ transportation is a highly profitable industry in a gigantic industry. The third problem is that as long as the persecution and human rights violations persist, the organ transplant system in mainland China will never get onto the right path. Former Chinese leader Jiang Zemin initiated the persecution of Falun Gong in 1999. Since then, the CCP has mobilized the entire state apparatus, including different levels of government, military, armed police, judicial system, propaganda, diplomacy, and medical institutions to carry out the crime of genocide and persecution against tens of millions of Falun Gong followers. The persecution has lasted for 21 years and it is still going on today.